so today we have a bit of an unplanned video. Uh, for the past few weeks, uh, my graphics card has been making a bit of a rattling noise. Um, now, initially I thought that it might be a bad bearing that was causing this noise. However, upon further research, it seemed that it might be due to a bit of a loose fan mount, um, which would seem likely uh, as I uh, tried out uh, tightening the screws on uh, the fan that was uh, making the noise, and it seemed to help. Uh, however, um, this came back a bit, uh, and so I'm going to try a bit more of a permanent fix. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of a spacer underneath the fan, so that way uh, it can't vibrate as much, and hopefully we'll eliminate the rattle. And here's to give a demonstration of uh, what it's been sounding like here. Okay, so before anything, I'm going to have to uh, do a bit of disassembly. I'm going to have to pull the graphics card out and then we can get a closer look at um, potentially repairing it. So here is the fan that is making the noise. Uh, so first we're going to need to uh, figure out the shape of the mount. Um, and what I have here is a bit of foam. And uh, I'm planning on putting this between the fan and the mount. And hopefully this should take uh, the rattle out of it. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Looks like we'll have to uh, loosen the shroud as well in order to uh, move the fan enough to measure it. All right, that's probably good enough. Now uh, I'm gonna use a bit of a trick here to get the shape of this. See, that'll do just fine. Next, we'll need a pencil. What we're gonna do, we're gonna set the paper in here. Carefully. Looks like it's caught on the fins in the back. There we go. Now I just need to hold it in place while I scribble on top of this. So there we go. Might not look like much, but hopefully uh, this should give some indication as to where I need to cut the foam. Let's see, it might go a bit more. So that looks 
looks to be about the right size. So I think what we'll do is we'll cut this out and we'll trace the shape onto here. Okay, so now we have our paper cut out here and I'm going to set it on the uh, fan mount and make sure it's uh, approximately accurate. It doesn't need to be perfect. And uh, it might be difficult to see on camera, but it looks pretty good. All of the holes line up, so this looks like it'll work just fine. Now, the other thing about this foam, uh, I got the thin thinnest I could find. However, I'm going to see if I can flatten it out a little bit because I don't really want this, uh, you know, having too large of a gap between where it would normally mount and uh, where it will be. So I'll see what I can do about that. Now I'm going to cut just a little bit on the small side here, just because uh, I don't really want it sticking out too much from underneath. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Alright, so there we go. Uh, it's not perfect, but hopefully this should work. fan spin freely here so that's a good sign uh, now the second fan here does appear to be ever so slightly higher up than the shroud now but um, well, not much I can do about that I will say that the foam is slightly visible you can probably see it on camera there but not too bad overall so uh, let's put it back in and give it a try We're about ready for a test. Alright, so the uh, bit of foam didn't really work out. Uh, uh, maybe it'll help some people, but it didn't really help here. So um, that's kind of unfortunate, but there is one other thing that we can do, and that is take advantage of the warranty or the RMA process here. So it's now one week later and I have my uh, card back from that. So let's put it in and uh, it should be clear sailing from here out.
Alright, so no more ticking noises. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with Zotac here. Uh, a week's pretty good turnaround on an RMA. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, if you like this video, maybe check out some of my other ones. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.